Now to good health. Some cancers are very difficult to treat because of the way they spread, leaving little hope for affected patients. But thanks to an advancement available at Henry Ford and select other hospitals, patients with these challenging cancers have a new option. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain. Hey, Doc. Hey, Karen and Jason. Yeah, so imagine a cancer that has sent microscopic seeds throughout the inner surface of the abdomen. It would be impossible to remove every single deadly cell, but using a newer combined surgery and chemotherapy technique, the impossible becomes possible. 75-year-old Eugene Chelsea of Clinton Township was healthy until late 2016. I was having problems with my, uh, with my, with my stomach. He saw a specialist and eventually had a CAT scan. Well, they, they found something on my appendix, and that was in uh, November. So they went in and they found the cancer. The first surgeon immediately recognized this was no ordinary cancer. It was cancer of the appendix that was also producing a dangerous mucus. Eugene was referred to Dr. Rupin Shaw, a surgical oncologist at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit, where a special procedure known as HIPEC is available. HIPEC stands for hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. During the HIPEC procedure, the surgeon removes all visible cancer. Then, catheters are inserted to infuse heated, concentrated chemotherapy into the abdominal cavity, bathing all the organs with the cancer-killing drug. Meanwhile, another set of catheters are used to remove and then recirculate it. HIPEC can be an effective option for certain cancers that spread to the lining of your abdomen, including appendix cancers, colorectal cancers, gastric cancers, certain gynecologic cancers, including ovarian and mesothelioma. In Eugene's case, Dr. Shaw is optimistic. If you catch it early on and you can clear all of that mucin and perform the HIPEC, that has shown there's actually durable survival, even patients who are 8, 10 years out. You have to believe and you have to have faith. And I want to see my grandkids graduate from college and perhaps married, if that's in the book. Now, although this is different than chemotherapy that might be given through an IV, it still produces significant side effects. The biggest difference is that once the HIPEC is done and the side effects pass, patients don't have to go through more rounds like they usually do with chemotherapy. And you can learn much more about HIPEC on a brand new episode of Minds of Medicine, and that's available right now at clickondetroit.com online. Check it out and be sure to share it with anyone who might be a candidate for this procedure. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Doc. Mm -hmm.